A common solution to unfulfilled sexual desires is watching porn. It has been mentioned and encouraged by many psychologists and therapists. While it may work for some people, for others it can lead to a problem. Porn addiction. But why do certain people get addicted to porn? What are the root causes? Let's take a look. 1. Loneliness and Escapism Before we get into the scientific stuff, let's take a look at why people get hooked on porn from a social perspective. What's behind this behavior? Well, think of it as a coping mechanism, sort of like how people turn to sweets and junk food when they're feeling down. People use porn for a temporary distraction from life's challenges and loneliness. But this isn't a healthy way to deal with your emotions. It's like trying to beat loneliness or sadness by diving into something that doesn't really fix the root issues. What makes it even trickier is that pornography can give you highs and lows. Moments of intense excitement followed by times when you feel pretty low. These ups and downs can create a cycle that makes you crave that next high and can be hard to break free from. People often get into this because they're dealing with complex emotions or don't have a support system they can rely on. It's a way to escape, even if it's only for a little while, from the emotional roller coaster that life can sometimes be. To chasing the dopamine high. Okay, now before getting into the more scientific aspect of this topic, let's clarify what addiction is because when most people hear the word addiction, they naturally assume it's drug addiction. Porn addiction is a real problem and it's not exactly the same as drug addiction. The American Psychological Association defines addiction as a state of psychological or physical dependence, or both, on the use of alcohol or other drugs. Typically, this term is used when speaking about substance abuse, but the definition extends to behavioral disorders, which include sexual behaviors. But why would someone become addicted to porn? Great question. This brings us to our third point. 3. Developing Tolerance People can become addicted to porn because it triggers a pleasurable feeling in the brain. Over time, they need more explicit content to get the same feeling. Some turn to porn as a way to escape from problems or loneliness. It can become a habit and even make people feel worse about themselves. In other words, people develop a tolerance. People get addicted to porn, but they also develop a tolerance for it, just like they do for drugs which leads to a consequent reduction in pleasure every time they use it. When this happens, they need to watch more and more porn than ever before to feel the same high. So, what does this mean for porn addiction? Let's continue. 4. Too much dopamine Dopamine is a brain chemical that affects how we behave with others, but too much of it for a long time can change how we act and make us more likely to get hooked on certain things. In other words, a lot of dopamine can cause negative social behaviors. So, what does all this science have to do with porn addiction? Watching porn makes the brain release more dopamine, which can affect our behavior. If someone's brain can't regulate dopamine well, it can make things even harder. Several factors, including genetics, environmental stress, and mental health conditions, can make it difficult for someone to control their brain's dopamine levels. This brings us to the next point. 5. Mental health conditions. Many mental health conditions can cause porn addiction, depression, obsessive compulsive disorders, anxiety, ADHD, and post-traumatic stress, to name a few. For individuals who deal with these conditions, viewing porn is an escape. Some people turn to porn when they're feeling down, and it can become a habit. But why does it become a problem? It's because of two chemicals in your brain dopamine and serotonin. We've talked about how dopamine plays a big role in addiction. Now, let's look at serotonin. When you're feeling depressed or anxious, your serotonin levels are usually low. And when you engage in sexual activity, it can increase your serotonin levels. That's why people often feel calm and relaxed after having an orgasm. In fact, the French even have a fancy name for it. They call it la petite mort, which means the little death. 6. Hypofrontality What's hypofrontality? Well, hypo means less. So hypofrontality means your brain's front part isn't working at its best. This part is like your brain's manager for decision making, memory, learning, and how you act with others. Why does it matter? Some studies say that when people are dealing with depression or other mental health challenges, their brain's front part can shrink a bit. There was even a study in 2011 that checked if this affects how people deal with porn addiction. They found out that yes, it does. 
It's like your brain's boss isn't working right and it can change how you deal with things like porn. 7. Traumatic brain injury in an early life stage. Believe it or not, severe brain injuries, especially in early life, can indirectly lead to porn addiction. After a brain injury, it's common for some people to have sexual issues. They might have a lower interest in sex or sometimes the opposite, they want it a lot. What they do to find satisfaction can include sex, self-pleasure, or even watching porn. In most cases, people recover from these issues after a brain injury, but not everyone does. Tell us, were you shocked by some of these causes? Did we miss any other causes that could have been included? Comment below. Also, your support in viewing our content means a lot because it means the work we do can keep impacting more people. So if you found this video interesting and want to support us in exploring more psychological topics, do consider liking this video and leaving a comment. And as always, thanks for watching.